Hey everyone, Tim UDF here for the Dark Schmoogledy. Now it's the Dark Fortress by Nisimus, a fellow YouTube user. So that means we're gonna review it before other stuff. Hooray! And I like this little fog action going on here, and we're playing as Casey do for a while. Uh, yeah, notice this. Not sure if it's from this mod or if it's from, uh, something. I don't care. Let's go! We're going to the Dark Schmoogledy. This, uh, this, this erases a... I forget what cave it erases, but we can no longer get to some cave that's originally supposed to be here. Screw that stupid glitch. I hate that. Alright. Oh no, we need a key to the dark schmoogledy. Well, let's go get a key to the dark schmoogledy. Okay, so we have to go to the Merchant's Inn. Yeah. And we're gonna buy you some stuff. What spell do I have chosen? What's I doing? Oh, I don't remember what I was doing. I don't know. I must have... I don't know. Screw the whole thing. I draw my spells here. It seems suspicious that that's chosen. I don't know why I would choose that. I don't know. I guess everything's there. Okay, whatever. Hello. Uh, I forget who I have to talk Go to. Go ahead. Though. Oh wait, I don't know I have to talk to a custom character. Shady merchant. What can I do for you? We have to buy shady stuff. I uh, ancient forest in Blackwood, fifty thousand gold. Huh. I want some dank fortress. Yeah, let's just do it. Excellent. We're now the owner of this fantastic establishment. You too. As if Kajido needs him, he has the Imperial Palace. Now okay then. Uh yeah. So let's take a look at it. Let's so actually show you where we were. We're all down here. At the Dark Fortress. Where it gets rid of some crap cave that we probably don't even need anyway. Hooray! Alright. Uh, here we go. Alright. Okay, the Dark Fortress. My house. My house. Mine. Oh, there's a thingamajig. Oh, okay, I've successfully did stuff, done stuff. It's roomy, well furnished, well guarded, and well built. Now, okay. uh, stuff. -da -da. Ooh, well, it's a kind of a nifty little entryway. On a walk on spikes. Yee, <laughs> good old oblivion logic. You can't get hurt on these spikes. All right. Boo. Ow. Alright. It's heavy, it's iron, and it's a gate. Inside we go to the Grand Hall. Grand Hand Hand Hall. I don't think this mod's complete, but hey, this looks like the, um, the thing from... It looks like the room from Glenvar and the room from... What the heck was that mod even called? The Heart of the Dead. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've got teleporters and stuff. And here's our altars. Well, this is a this is an all uh, vanilla mod, I forgot to mention that earlier. So let's start going to now let's go to the bedrooms last. Because I like being picky. Ha 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 ha, where's this go anyway? Ha! Master bedroom. Oh okay then, we'll go to the regular stuff. Huh. Even stuff well hidden from me, are we? Yeah. How do you escort prisoners down there? You just shove them off the side. Oh, flid. Right. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Huh. Floating things for some reason. Okay. Open. Stuff. Cool. Eh. Uh. Hidden passage? Hidden passage. Hidden passage. Hidden passage. Hidden passage. Hidden shackles. No, not good. Oh. Wait a minute. The heck? What's going on here? There is something there. What do we do to get inside? What do we do to get inside? Wilson! My name is Frank! Alright. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what did I want? Oh, here we go. Uh, doesn't look like it goes anywhere, though, so... 
We'll leave it alone for now. Uh, we've been in there. What the heck am I doing? Losing track of crap. <laughs> You're dead. He's not even in the thing now. He's just standing up. Oh well. He's fixed now. No, oh, okay. So yeah, standard prison. There's some mist in this cell for some reason. Huh. Oh well. All right, so basic prison stuff with floating uh, crystals and uh, and something. Back to the grand hall, where we'll jump around because we're maniacs, maniacs. Oh yes. Uh, let's just start going through the teleporter. Wait, was there something else down here though? Uh, doesn't seem to be. Uh, nope. Okay. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Kajido is also a free runner now. Aha! Over here. Okay. Fortress Laboratory. Right. Later on, he claimed, uh, Nysimus claims that he wants to make more, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, quests and PCs. I don't know. I forget what the list said. So I'm probably just making things up that he didn't even say. He said he was going to make a whole game by himself. No, not really. Okay. So basic alchemy stuff here. Not too bad. Pretty good. I don't really use alchemy that much, but it's always good to just kind of include it because it shows that the mod creator is kind of uh, accounting for pretty much everything. Which is good. It might seem kind of cliche that mod creators uh, try to account for everything, but at the same time, it's a little safe to do just because of the plethora of character uh, types that you can choose from and create in this game. Table. Alright. Ooh, hey. The library is empty. Not sure if that's on me or him, but hey, wait, this is extended a bit. What's going on back here? Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, I'm sure. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, okay. I don't know why that's indented. Not sure. Maybe he just didn't want it to be all even. Huh. Not that much of a problem, though. Not a problem at all, stop it. We can sit down and play with the crystal ball. See, this would be kind of a neat meeting room. For something, I don't know. This thing. I had this idea before. Which was with the uh, Elder Council thingamajig. Like, just have uh, this fire burning in the middle, and then just a bunch of people sitting in all the council seats. And Kazido's like, Hello, everybody. Kazido Nolan here. And today, my name is Kazido Nolan. That's a good room, too, though. And, oh, we know it's in there. Okay, let's go to the armory. And reset this. Uh, yeah, okay. What am I? The same basic, uh entryway for everything. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like the dragon torches hanging from the ceiling and everything. We got weapons like, uh, like a very katana. Oh, they're ruined, though. Okay. They're ruined. Like, ruined tail. Now, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. Yeah, basic training room. Provides us with some silver bows and stuff and repair hammer. Makeshift forgery. And arrows. <laughs> All right, uh, let's cook the arrow. Yeah, I know it's not. All right, and now uh, the fortress bedrooms for your companions and everything else that you might not have. Uh, that usual thing, clipping. Oh man. Lots of bats. <laughs> With stuff already in them. Yes. I can steal stuff. Like stealing stuff. We will not check every chest. No, we won't. Okay. Seems that they all have some kind of potions in them. And some dining areas and everything. Here's why it says bedrooms, though, and there's clearly only one room here. Hmm. No, okay, that's fine. Only the corners can... Oh, no, this one has a yellow bed, too. I say only the corners can have yellow, golden rod, whatever beds, but oh, I guess it continued that pattern here too. So yeah, kind of a kind of a colorful area keeps things interesting, like the curtain, uh, not curtains, but uh, drapes. This room is pretty kind of decorated. Uh, I guess the one chandelier works out. I probably would have put another chandelier here and another chandelier over here, but. I think the room is... well, I've got my light spell on. Well, you've got these candles as well, so that should be fine. 
Good little bedroom thing area. But, uh, yeah, I forgot to point this out, but I did notice that the, the uh... These things match. Okay, whatever. You guys probably get where I'm going with that, huh? <laughs> they match. The room that you're going to. So let's see. I think that's it. Besides the master bedroom. So far it is. Okay. So let's head to the master bedroom. Oh yeah, we can do these uh altar things here. Only five of them now? Or were there four up there somewhere? Yeah, it looks like they're up here. Okay. Yeah, screw that pilgrimage or whatever thing. Oh. Aha! I entered the door before I crashed and fell to my death. Alright, and the final room of the Dark Schmoogity. More empty shelves. It's okay though. Mine. I don't know, it seemed kind of blank to me. Not just because of the shelves either, but... Like, there's nothing on... there's nothing really on that desk. Here's an altar thing, though. Necromantic culture! Do-do! Necromancy is fun! Do-do! I've been singing variations... Well, I've been singing the tune to that... To the original song for, like... The whole time I've been LPing now. And still, nobody knows what it's from, so that'll be like my forever reference thing. Okay, now though. So yeah, um, uh, the carpeting is kind of cool, but it seems like it just seems like that there's really nothing going on in here. I'm not sure what it is, but it's just distinctly more uh, more blank. Lots of repair hammers though, than the other bedroom in which many people would be walking around. So, I don't know, I guess this would be more of a study. I mean, it's pretty quiet looking. You could still store your stuff here, so I guess the player can liven it up a bit. I don't know. Pretty basic stuff, though. I'm pretty sure these don't, uh, these don't respawn, so you should be able to store your stuff here. He had a special note about that, but I read that a couple days ago, and... Yeah, I didn't feel like looking at it again. So! It looks like, unless there's anything else that I may have missed... Wait, what? What's going on here? There's areas on the map that we can reach, I think. I think... Could be that these are just objects from, uh, something... something else. I don't know, I'll be right back. Alright, this should be the final segment reset we made. Let's go to... Outside. Oh, it's part of a church. Yeah, it's part of another object, I'm guessing. Because there's nothing here. That's kind of interesting, though. What object did he have to place for that... to be there? I'm not sure. Huh. I wonder if it's this top... No, that seems separate, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not sure why this is here. It'll be here for secret goth meetings? I don't know. <laughs> about candy. Goths are meeting about candy. Ah, uh, whatever. Do, 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 do. So, uh, surprisingly enough, that seems like it's only going to be one video. So, I'm just going to stop the timer so that I can talk and make this one video. Hooray! So, the Dark Fortress, that's not that bad. Of course, it's an incomplete mod, so I'm not going to rate it as a completed mod. At least it seemed like an incomplete mod from the way he wrote stuff on the page and whatever else. I mean, it's not like it's a... Yeah. It's like, it's completed, but it's not completed. So I'm going with the notion that it's not completed. Because <laughs> there's nothing in here, nothing to do yet. Stuff to look forward to in the future, though, according to his readme file. On that note of the README file, uh, try to avoid telling people that if they have a problem with a certain aspect of your mod, that the that they would have to create a new game file to fix it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> Just think about if I had to make a new game file to do uh, to do this thing with all the with all the crap that I've done in the world here and. You pretty much just tell people to use the console to get everything back. Well, that's 
yeah, the console really wouldn't help someone like me here because there's just so much crap added and so much stuff that's been done. But yeah, I don't, I don't really have any problems with this. It's, it's cool design. He actually decorated it up a bit. There's, there's stuff to look forward to. I like these dragon statue fire thingamajigs. I'm actually uh, much more impressed than I thought I would be. I have to, I have to admit. So. This gets the maximum score that a that an incomplete mod can get, which is an 8 out of 10. Simply because uh, I don't believe in incomplete perfection. Some of you will be like, well, what's that? And I'll be like, well, I'm not going to discuss it here because this is a mod review. Not, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to continue running around here. And, uh, I guess if you ever come up with any quests for this or anything, go ahead and PM me and I'll run through them, probably. But for now, I guess if you want an early build of cool-looking, uh, possibly villain fortress. I mean, it's called the Dark Fortress, but it doesn't always have to be that evil is associated with darkness. I know in some of my writing in particular, the good guys are actually darkness and the bad guys are light. And you may see some of that ambiguity in uh, Tales from Cyrodiil as well. Oh crap, which I have to record. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, just remembered. <laughs> okay. Oh no, so. Enough of my rambling. That is the Dark Fortress. Uh, of course I'll have the download link for you. Pick it up if you want. Don't if you don't. And I will see you next time on Team UDF Gaming.